Hello everyone, good evening, Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle here. And I want to talk about uh, different kinds of mentality. Ooh, let me go get something. Oh, almost dropped it. Anyways, different kinds of mentality with regards to poverty consciousness and prosperity consciousness. So, if you guys are interested in making more money, whether it be on the side or just upgrading your lifestyle, then good for you. Back in the days when I was younger, I had I had looked up to um, what I uh, comparatively back in the day what I had. Um, Someone that I saw as someone stronger than me, more um, experience or confidence, someone, um, you know, a strong woman that I looked up to. I wouldn't necessarily say a mentor, but um, just someone at the time. And, of course, as, as you know, Bear and I have been um, having our entrepreneurial spirits since forever, since we were young, um, even before we met each other. And... We just love to do business and do opportunities. This uh, this lady said, oh, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in making money when your physical body isn't there. See, she had this mentality of in order to make money, you have to physically be present and your body has to be there. She said that any other way other than that is just wrong, is just unethical, is... Um, scams it's just it doesn't make sense and it's uh, immoral in her eyes so that's the programming that she had and um, T. Harv Eker one of our mentors that we we love so much um, he taught us these different wealth principles okay attitudes of wealth this side says winning the mind game these are positive mindsets that the wealthy people live by. Uh, attitudes of wealth, this is winning the money game. Okay? Again, different principles that, um, that poor people have versus rich people. And what, what I was referring to with this lady saying, oh, that's immoral, that's a, unethical, um, it was... It was on online on the internet, and you get paid by by reading other people's ads and doing certain things online. Um, you get to advertise your ads and pay to get your ad your ads viewed. Pay for your advertisements. Pay for people to go look at your ads. Kind of like um, you know many things like putting your ad in a newspaper or on the commercial radio TV. Um, Facebook ads, what, whatever. So there's there's a difference between passive income and um, passive income means you don't need to physically be there. Your body doesn't have to be there in order for you to make money. You can be sleeping in your bed and still be generating income repeatedly on autopilot or uh, you can be generating money while you're in different parts of the world doing other things in different meetings and it works out because passive income is it doesn't require you to be there just like when you're at a job when you're at an employee job you have to be there in order to get paid you're getting paid for your time it's not that the employer is saying Oh, hey, you're a great employee. I'm going to pay you more because you're bringing in more revenues, uh, more commissions, whatever. You know, most jobs these days, it's pretty sad. You get paid for your time, and sometimes the worker or the employee is shitty, doesn't even produce results, or sometimes they're toxic and they're trouble and they cause. I've, I've had people, whether they be my... um colleagues and or bosses oh my gosh <laughs> this girl had a bunch of lawsuits for <sighs> she 
she just got hired and she just, well, I'm sure you can imagine what she did to get, just bypass everyone else and got a higher position, you know, really, really high position. And turns out in the end, she gets fired and she has all these lawsuits. She gets, wow, and just all these investigations and yeah, all of us had to get questioned by, um, you know, the government agencies get interviewed so anyways my point is oh yeah some people are not even producing or carrying their own weight some employees some people are even trouble and they cause debt and lawsuits and red flags instead of gaining stars for the company they're demoting their company in the other agencies um, eyes you know enforcing agency's eyes so the point is the point is passive income versus active income um physically being there as an employee you get paid for your time you're not even promising when you sign up for a job that well some jobs you do but most jobs these days here in america you can just be there and you can be a slacker you know but when you're in business working for yourself, no one's telling you, looking over your shoulder, you have to take responsibility and kick yourself in the butt and earn your way, earn your living, you know? And it's not always easy. I'm sure you know that. These attitudes of wealth are, are so awesome. When I first learned them over a decade ago, oh, they changed my life. They changed our lives. And... It's good to continually grow yourself. Um, financial fitness, you know, Bear and I are still working on our financial freedom. Um, and we're not going to quit until we get there and beyond because we know what we want. We know what we wanted, what our big why is, you know. It's not just about, hey, this is a dollar amount. No, it's what are you going to use that money for? So I'm talking about this active versus passive uh, income, um, poverty consciousness versus prosperity consciousness. Financial fitness is one of the highest forms of self-care. Yeah, one of my mentors said that. And I said, wow, because a lot of people say money is evil. Rich people are evil, um, filthy rich, you know, all these myths, all these programmings. Well, on Facebook, I actually saw this um, post and it said, okay, so back in the days, people had slavery, you know, arms and feet and shackles. And today, the slavery is debt. People are in debt. And the picture, the cartoon that was depicted was this man like this hunched over and his neck was inside this, how do you say, guillotine? Well, anyways, those things in France where you put your head and your arms and then they slice your head off, they cut, cut it off at the neck. Well, the guillotine was in the form of the U.S. American dollar. So, yeah. A lot of people are in debt and you're probably watching this because you're like okay um, I want to get out of debt I want to earn some extra income uh, whether it be on the side or just a lot of income and I'm talking about this in roundabout ways because there are people like I mentioned earlier one of this lady who I well, I didn't really look up to her, but maybe I thought I did at the time. Oh, it's not right to earn money in any other way unless you're getting paid for your physical body for that amount of time that your physical body is there. There are many ways. Okay, let me give you an example of passive income. Intellectual assets. You write a book. You have an interview and then you transcribe that interview. It becomes a book, an ebook, a PDF, whatever. Um, you translate it into a podcast, you are recording it in a studio, and the videographer 
has the format in a video. So that's three ways now. Three ways. Book, video, and audio. You can be selling those, giving them away free, and as a freebie in exchange for, let's say, someone to subscribe to your newsletter in exchange for their email. Or you could be selling those as well. Or, check this out, you could have a snippet of that interview which is going to gener generate multiple streams of income for you while you are sleeping. You can give a snippet instead of the whole 30 minute interview or the whole book, the whole book, audio, podcast, audio. You can have like a juicy part, whether at the beginning or a juicy part that gives like five strategies in the middle and just have it be like five minutes or five strategies. Create a checklist out of it. Um, a one-page checklist create um, what else create something mini that you could give away free to kind of promote and tease people to sell whatever the book is in those three forms see you can give a mini you know like a mini sample like oh okay you go to Baskin Robbins can I taste a sample before I buy the whole cup or bowl of ice cream and then you make that once. I mean, we learned this, I learned this from Robert Kiyosaki. You make your intellectual asset once. Book, audio, video. Only once. You record it once. And it's just like uh, songs played on the radio, movies played in the theaters. Um, yes, you could be earning royalties from books, movies, uh, songs. And... So that's another form of passive income because you only record and do it once, once it's produced, you know, finalized. Then you can keep generating income for the rest of your life on that product that you own. Sure, it's not tangible. Uh, it's not like, oh, hey, I can touch this digital format, but you could be sleeping. You could be vacationing, traveling in all parts of the world, teaching seminars and people are still buying these courses trainings programs in the form of your books your audios or your videos that is a clear example my friends of passive income and when when you're able to take care of yourself yes we are currently and actively always growing our financial IQ and there's that broke uh, poor mentality and then there's a prosperous mentality it's not necessarily about how much money you have it's what you do with the money you have not the amount but what do you do with it do you reinvest it do you reinvest it into assets or are you just buying um, liabilities or material things that depreciate what are other examples? Okay, uh, Forex, foreign exchange, uh, investments, stocks, shares, you know. Sure, it may sound like gambling, but hey, I'd rather do what the rich people do and reinvest my money instead of just gambling away at a casino and think of other ways to generate income. All right, do I have to be at a laundromat? Do I have to be at a parking lot? Do I have to be at the apartments 24-7 that I'm collecting rent on from the tenants that are renting those living quarters? You know, hotels, houses, real estate. Those examples that I just gave you, um, shares, stocks, all those things are different ways that you can be making money and you don't have to physically be there. You're not getting paid for your time like an employee at a job, which someone told us before, J-O-B stands for just over broke. Okay, so this slavery, this modern day slavery is being in debt. A lot of people are in debt. 
Um, if you're interested more in these kind of concepts and are curious as to why I'm even making this video, you're probably like-minded and if you want to get in touch with us and ask us, hey, what opportunity or opportunities are you in? What do you guys do? Then let's connect and and then we could share, uh, we could swap ideas on how we can help each other further our uh, financial goals. Okay, the reason why I'm not talking about so many details is because about what what I'm talking about is because hey let's let's get in contact outside of this time and space outside of this video and uh, whether it be phone call Skype email uh, chatting you know video text chat whatever whatever you call it all those snapchat all these young terminologies that bear and I have to keep up with and ask the young ones to help us yes I know I'm aging myself uh, you might think I look young okay let's just put it that way well, I think Bear looks really young for his age. <laughs> uh, old man. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so if when you're interested into swapping ideas because you've already opened up your mind to these paradigms of uh, ways of generating income, passive income, multiple sources of income, without being an employee at a broke-ass job, being in exchange for your physical body and your time, then let's talk, let's connect. And who knows, maybe, maybe just maybe, you and I, or Bear and I, and you can change the world. Because it's not just about money, it's what are you gonna use that money for? So, I look forward, Bear and I, we look forward to speaking and connecting with you. And take care. Do you want to see this before I end the video? Attitudes of Wealth, Winning the Mind Game. I create my life. I create the exact amount of my financial success. Oh, yes, I remember reading this with a group, group of other people and putting our hands on our hearts and declaring it. Let's see the back. Um, winning the money game. I am an excellent money manager. Okay? All right. There is a lot of money shame and money shadow in the world. So it is our responsibilities to heal that in our minds, in our hearts, and by our actions and that'll create our new lifestyles, upgraded lifestyles. Once we upgrade ourselves, then and only then are we able to impact the world and be of service and be more influential in ways that are beautiful and powerful. So that's why it's really important to also have a high financial IQ and keep growing it. Uh, just like we tend to taking care of our body and our mind. Um, we also need to take care of all aspects of our life, including the financial realm, healing this guilt and money shame. All right, friends. Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle signing out. Oh, how to contact us? Um, hmm. Okay, so how to contact. You can write. If this is a video that you're watching, uh, whether it be social media, whether it be YouTube, um, on our blog, Abundance9.com, um, Marketing Success Secrets for Impact and Profits, Abundance9.com, A-B-U-N-D-A-N-C-E-N-I-N-E.com. Go ahead and um, sign up for the newsletter there, email newsletter, and or our mini mobile marketing app there. Um, It'll be set up shortly. And yeah, if you see this on Facebook, you can um, PM or private message us as well. Any, wherever platform that you see this, you're watching this, then just contact us there. And if it takes a while to get back to you, um, just do it again, get our attention. Sometimes it might get lost in the notifications. So um, 
more bona fide PM private message or something that email that we will see better. Just do it again if just in case if it gets lost in the shuffle because sometimes it happens with with life. Okay. Take care, friends. Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle signing out. Healing. It is all that is.